Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today is a full body strong workout. There's just one block of work today. We've got 22 moves, 40 seconds of effort with a 15 second transition. We're gonna do this two times so that you can get the most out of this. If you want a strong lean body, do this workout two to three times a week. Make sure to include some type of cardio and some other core conditioning workouts. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. If you're looking for more content, maybe you wanna help me create a workout, click on that join button below. Roll your shoulders back. Have a great foundation here. Keep your core braced throughout the warm up. We're gonna be squatting down first and then straighten the legs and rise up. Drop in a squat, straighten the legs, bend and reach up. So hold for a moment, then straighten the legs. And if your legs don't go straight, hey, that's okay. You're just trying to warm up the back of the legs a little bit here along with the front of the legs. So the focus today is strength. No jumping, all great strength moves to get you really nice and strong feeling. Quad stretch, you're gonna grab your right foot, find a little bit of balance, pull the heel back and then switch. So we're holding for about one, two and switch. If your balance is really bad, have a chair near you or a friend. Ooh, and each leg is a little bit more unstable. So while we're stretching your quad, pull your abs up and in, lengthen through your torso. We're gonna lunge back, reach, pause for a moment, and then switch. Do two more where we're gonna reach up. And then the next time that you lunge back, twist to the knees, we're gonna twist to Carol. And then we're gonna come in, twist to Diane. Feet stay separated. Reach up this time and give me one more. All right, we're gonna tip forward. Keep your right leg planted, tip your chest like a warrior three, and then switch. Work on that balance a little bit here. Pull the abs up and in and have your feet separated. That'll help you a little bit. And when you tip, really lift that back leg up, dropping chest so you're almost parallel to the floor. One more, we got inchworm. Come to the back of your mat. You're gonna round down. Walk out to your plank. Pause for a moment. And then hips up, walk back. Bend the knees, roll up. No need to rush this. Really find that you're articulating that spine as you go down and up. Walk yourself on back. Open up the legs wide for lateral lunges. Shift over to your right, and then walk over to your left. As you're doing your lateral lunges, you can have the chest up or you can have the hands down. But again, chest is still lifted. Really nice shift over to the side. This will help to stretch out the ankles, the inner thighs. Straddle stretch, hold for a moment. Bend your knees, roll it up. And then you're gonna get yourself ready. The first move, we're gonna be using our booty band or it could be a mini band above the knees. Heavy weight for a lateral squat. go for my 20s. Feet are open here. Eyes are up. Coming to a little bit of a squat. We're going to step out to the right. Drop in the squat. A little in and to your left. 
So continuous movement in this squat and we're gonna add that band to add some resistance into the gluteal medial, the outside of your hips. Drop that butt down and back. And I like my weight loaded up at the top. It's gonna help me drop lower into my squat. When there was a spark, there's now a I like to almost hold my breath at the bottom and then exhale as I come up. Great job. You can keep your booty band on here. Deadlift just the right leg. Roll the shoulders back. You could use one dumbbell. I'm just going to use one. Deadlift to a squat. So deadlift, pull the weight up, drop into squat. Tip forward. It's like you're shaving your leg with that dumbbell. And I'm going to have a little bit of a kickstand here that's going to help me with my balance. If your balance is really good, by all means, you could lift that back leg off the floor. If you need to, have a little bend in that front knee in the deadlift. And again, you could do this with two weights if you feel like that's better for you. All right, relax. We're going to switch the legs. Ooh, tap back that foot. Roll the shoulders back. Remember, we're gonna just slide down that leg and then use a little bit of core to pull the weight up for that squat. You guys ready? Drop it and then squat it. So a lot of that pressure is in the heel of that front foot. And if you have mobility, you can keep the legs straight. That totally works. But make sure your spine is staying long. And then having the band on is going to add a little bit of resistance here. Booty band is off. Static lunge. You're gonna hold a bicep curl weight in your right. I'm gonna do 15. I'm gonna do like kind of opposite. 15 in the right, actually my left. My right hand has heavy. Come into a lunge and I'm gonna curl my, your left, which is my right. So I'm staying in that static lunge, dropping into the front foot, push away and add a curl. So I have a 20 in one hand and a 15 in the other. Because life is like that, right? It's never balanced. All right, really drop in that lunge. You can lean a little forward and then push away. Great job, I'm gonna switch my weights. Whew. And it's good to be a little offset too. That's what, what we want to do is have a little offset in the weight. Get into your static lunge, feet separated. Drop and curl. So make sure again, in the lunge, my feet are separated. It doesn't feel like I'm gonna try and kind of fall over. You want to be nice and strong and stable. I like to inhale down, exhale, pull that fist to my shoulder. Next move is a clean and press. I'm gonna stay with 15s. Woo! All right, so we're cleaning the weight up and then pressing it up to the ceiling. This is a lot of full body movement here. Waist down by your thighs, roll your shoulders back, clean it, push it. So I come underneath it, press it to the sky, then flip it down. And this should be moderate to on that heavy side. Again, it stays right in front of your body. And 
It's always good to kind of test the water. Like, ooh, can I go a little heavier next time? Reverse grip row. I'm gonna keep my 15s. Palms face up. I pinch between the shoulder blades, dropping the chest. I'm gonna stay with 15. Drop your chest. Start the reverse grip row. Now, what can you do to make it harder? Really drop your body so that it's parallel to the floor, but know your low back. Exhale as you pull the elbows back. Pinch between the shoulder blades. And you're looking down at the ground. There's nothing to look at in the garage right now. Come on. After this is bicep curls. Relax. Put them down for a moment. Woo. See, when you go for that moderate weight, you're gonna feel your heart rate up. Bicep curls. I'm gonna go for my 20s here because I know I can do them. All right. Go for the curls. If you find that you're not getting stronger in your workouts, that you can't go heavier, sometimes it's a sign that you're not recovering enough. So every now and then you should be able to do one or two exercises in a workout a little bit heavier. Not everything has to be, maybe just a couple things. But you do want to feel a little bit uncomfortable, right? Like you're getting to the edge. From here, we're gonna go to chest press on your back. Look at the ceiling. I'm gonna keep my 20s. Weight is at the top. Keep it wide to make it hard. From the top, we drop down and press it up to the heel of the hand. And then just so you get yourself like really ready for this, because we're gonna do push-ups after this. Which is gonna feel really good, isn't it? Yeah. I hope at this point right now you're starting to feel that, oh yeah, it's getting a little bit heavier, getting a little harder here. Here come your push-ups, all right? Rock yourself up, flip it onto your hands and toes. Or if you need to be on your knees, we're gonna come down and we're gonna pause for three seconds, okay? Right now, hold for three, two, one, press up. Hold for three, two, one. Now you keep your own count. Remember, that pause is really going to help to activate those pectoral muscles. And as fast as you want to come out of it, that's when you need to stay in it even more. Come on, we just have a few more seconds here. Ooh, dead bug. I'm going to be using my tens as I drop opposites. Legs are up at 90 degree angles. Arms over the shoulders. Back leg is going to reach. Front arm is going to reach. Back leg, front arm. And then switch. So in the weighted dead bug, you're going to get some of your lats. That part underneath the bra or in your armpit area. And again, you can have a little dramatic pause at the bottom. Turn it on a little bit more. We're gonna be coming up onto our feet next or if you wanna be on knees for overhead extensions. One or two dumbbells. Great job, come on up. I'm gonna go for a 20. So if you want one or two, weight is gonna be behind your head. Softness in the knees. You can do this kneeling too if you want to. From the bottom, press it up. And 
This one I do like using one dumbbell because I can get really more narrow on the way up. So they kind of go wide to in. Ooh, my arms are starting to feel it. How about yours? Oh, yes. We got a renegade row after this. So you do not have to come down to the ground. So if you want to stay upright, you can do bent over rows, alternating them. Great job. Ooh, so renegade row, you're in a plank. I'm gonna have my 15s. If anybody wants to stay up and you could do alternating rows, you definitely can. Feet are open, good amount of weight here. Drop your chest. Row one arm and then the other. You can even do this on the knees where you just drop to the knees. But honor your body for what it feels good, right? When I'm in a renegade row, as I pull one arm up, the other arm is pressing into the dumbbell, kind of trying to stabilize my body. Pulling the hand up by the chest, elbow toward the spine. Great job. If you want to put your booty band on, you can real quick squat press because we can use it for the next few movements. It's got to be quick. If you need to, you hit pause, squat press. I'm using 15. All right, did you make it? Squat press. If the arms are too tired, just stay in squats. So in a squat with a band, press to the edge of your feet, just that little bit, so your knees go outward. Not in. We have single leg bridge after this. I'm gonna be using my booty band still and one 20 pound dumbbell. Great job, on your back. Sure. Whoop. Oh, a 12. Come on. Front leg is bent, back leg is straight up, and single leg bridge. 12, 20, it sounded the same, Diane. <laughs> You'd be surprised with how strong your butt is. So again, I have the weight on the hip, a little bit of press out on the leg that's reaching up, can engage the core. I feel good, how about you? And again, pressing through the heel of that leg that's on the ground. Great job, switch it. Once we're done with this, that band comes off. And we're gonna be standing up here. Right leg is up in the front, back knee is bent, hip. Press it up. And then I'm pushing that leg that's lifted. I'm kind of pushing it out a little bit here. Back of the head rests on the ground. You're doing so great, right? Tap into your power. You've got some serious strength. Don't hold it back. We got lateral lunges, one dumbbell. I'm gonna use my 20. Quickly rock yourself up. You can take your band off wherever you want to. Woo! Lateral lunges. I'm gonna shift over to the right one weight. And then as I go to the other side, I drop it into, I'm gonna drop it into the hand. So step in and over. So you want that moderate weight. I kind of go a little bit back, not so straight to my side. After this is back lunges, I want you to go heavy. 
I'm going to be using both my 20s. And I'll give you the option, you can either hold the weight by your thighs or up at your shoulders. I'm going to finish off this way. All right, we're going to face Diane. Back lunges. You can either have the weight down or up. Both feet start at the front. Feet are separated. And lunge it back. Alternate those lunges. Eye gaze is up. The back knee can almost kiss the ground. After this one dumbbell on your back for leg drops, I'm going to use my 15. Great job. On your back, one dumbbell. I'm going to hold my 15 up, leg drop. And then we have a sit up. Weight is angle slightly back, legs are up, leg drop, and lift. When you're dropping your legs, try not to arch your back too much. Jen's got a great option of alternating one leg and then the other. And then instead of having the weight right over your chest, angle it back slightly, everybody. So that your arms stay activated. Inhale, lower, exhale, up. And then you're going to try to keep that moderate weight. Bend the knees, drop. A sit up. So we're going to keep the weight up over the chest. All right, you're going to roll yourself up and roll it back down. Again, moderate load. Take it up. And roll. Go at a pace that works for you. And you can even, again, tap into that, like, can I go heavier next time? I might try the 20 next time. Find the range. You don't even have to roll all the way up. After this, we flip into plank, one dumbbell, plank pull through with the dumbbell. Give me one more roll up. All right, flip it onto your plank. Keeping that weight if you can. Start the weight to the front side of your mat. It's kind of behind your wrist. Feet open. The back hand grabs the weight, slides it over to the other side. Stay in plank. Other hand grabs it, slides it over. Always drop to the knees. Now I want you to focus on steadying the hips here. Look out in front, pull up and into the waist. I feel like this is one where I should be building something. But right, stacking my weights. So have those feet open a good width of the mat going to help keep your hips from shifting too much. Great job. Stay in plank here. Relax the wrist. Just put that weight in the middle of your chest. Alternating forward lunges. So runner's lunges. Come back into your plank. If you need to, you can be upright doing back lunges. Stepping the front forward and back. Now, you can go and stay right there. You could go faster, or you could jump the feet, right, where I jump one foot forward, right, and shift those legs. We've done these before. It's been a while, though. Anybody want to go for the quicker ones here? The last 10 seconds? Come on. Who's up for it? You got a break. Five seconds. Nice job. Woo. Great job. All right, you got a break here. Take a deep breath. You guys doing good though? All right, it is. I got you for about another 30 seconds. 
Get some water. You need to go for some heavier weights, okay? What you gonna do? I need some water. You heard that, right, band on? All right, now you know what you're in for. Now we go for it. Yeah. Get ready, weight is up. Sorry, Diane. Moving squat, so step out, drop, and over. Really dropping your butt down and back towards your heels. And again, I'm gonna inhale as I drop, exhale as I rise up. Next move is that deadlift to squat. Give you one weight, it could be two weights. All right, one or two weights. I'm gonna just do a little different. I'm gonna do two weights. I'm gonna do 15s. Right leg, a little bend. Left toe back. Roll the shoulders. All right, you ready? Drop down. Squat. So deadlift to squat. It's a single leg squat. And again, we want that moderate heavy load. How low do you get in your squat depends on your, sometimes it's ankle mobility too. Super, all right, we're gonna switch those legs. I'm just gonna put my waist down for just a moment. Whew. Okay, grab if you had it down. Set your leg in position here. Roll the shoulders back. Deadlift to squat. So the leg that's doing all the work is your left leg. You gotta use your core to help you through these movements. Long and strong in your back. As I'm going down into my deadlift, I'm inhaling, and then I exhale. Great job, no band. Get it off. Here's that static lunge with the bicep curl. All right, I'm gonna switch mine. I'm gonna do a 20 in my left and a 15 in my right. I'm curling with my left. Drop. Curl. So again, I'm still offset with my weight. I have one heavier and one lighter. If you want it harder, palm up the whole time. Push into your heel of your front foot. You can lean a little forward and then push back. Did you go for heavier? Come on. Woo. Did you guys go heavier? Woo. Did you at home? All right, it's always good again. Just do that little bit of extra. Switch your weights. Switch your legs. Drop and curl. And your shoes are really important too. All right, so. You want to have a training shoe on when you're lifting weights so that you feel more stable versus a running shoe. You look at my community page on my channel. I do share what shoes I wear and a link for them. Inhale, drop. Exhale, push away. Second set, you should be pushing hard, right? Clean and press. I'm gonna try my 20s. Woo! 
Everybody's good though. Grab your weights, palms face you. All right, you're gonna clean the weight up. And then push. When you go for that moderate heavy, holy cows, you gotta use your whole body. And you should be breathing heavy. Get underneath it, push it up. You have a barbell, you can do this with a barbell. Reverse grip, bro. Coming up. You can do this, come on. Woo! Reverse grip, bro. That means palms are up. Go for that weight, come on. I know you can. You just gotta try. Grab it, hold it. Ready? Row, drop your chest. Remember, if you do go for the heavier, you're like, holy cows, I'm dying. Take a moment, and then you come back. But it's just a moment. Unless you really fail, then you're done. Remember, after this is bicep curls. Come on, drop your chest. Pinch between the shoulder blades here. This is activating the biceps along with your back. That's all I can do. Good job. Bicep curls. I'm just gonna go for my 15. I'm gonna do up turn. Roll the shoulders back. You can always, if you really do have heavy weights, alternate right, left. You could bring them in closer, right? Just changing it a little bit feels a little bit different in the muscle fibers of those areas. Are you guys working hard behind me? Okay, we're sweating it now. Chest press coming up here. Great job, on your back, grab your weights. I think we can turn the heater off in here, right? Look at the sky, weight is up, arms can stay wide, drop in the press and push. Now things that can make it feel harder, right? You could change the tempo. You could obviously go heavier. You could be on a bench and you have a bigger range of motion. So if you want to, if it's on the lighter side, maybe you're banging out a little faster or you're doing kind of half range. After this is those amazing push-ups with a little pause at the bottom. Get ready, Hunter, nice job. Whew. Looking forward to the push-ups, the second round. Because this is when the magic happens, right? Happens when we have intensity. You guys ready? We are ready. Drop for three, two, one. Push away. Don't rush this. Three, two, one. Push away. Three, two, one. Go at your pace. Oh, you feeling it now? Come on, just a couple more. You gotta do one more. Hold this one for four. Three, two, one. Nice job. Whew, dead bug. I'm gonna use my tens. Alternate that leg and arm. On your back, look at the sky. Front leg reaches, back arm reaches, ready. Reach away, pause, and switch. Watch your neighbor, right? And then your shoulders too. If you really need it to be, you could be a skull crusher if you need to, using the elbows. But in this movement, we use the shoulders. 
which gets into your lat. Back of the head on the ground, tuck your chin down. Wrist is straight. Overhead extension, standing one dumbbell or two. You are up. One or two dumbbells. Weight is up behind the head. Softness in the knees. Brace your core. Press it up. Fistle again. If it's light, you can go faster. You don't have to go my pace. Now remember, if you are ever short on time, just do one round of this workout. And then when you do have more time, you can come back and do the two rounds. This is a full body workout. You could do this two, three times a week. Throw in some cardio, maybe a glutes and kind of ab session with it. Even though standing ab workouts are great to add with this. Renegade row or you stay up. Nice job. Ooh. Okay, you know where we're gonna go, right? Come on, get yourself ready. Get into that row position. I'm gonna go for 20s. Three seconds, open the feet up if you need to. Pull that weight towards the chest. One arm pulls, the other one pushes down. In a plank position, butt is a little tight. Feet are open wider than the mat. Awesome. After this, we get the booty band on, getting ready for squat press. And it could be even one dumbbell. I might think, I'm gonna use just my 20. Okay, we are up. Grab that booty band, put it on. Squat press. Again, if you need more time, hit pause. We're gonna work it. One or two dumbbells. Ooh, it is hot. Drop, push. Yeah, give me all that you've got right now. Inhale, exhale. Knees press out. You got to give me all you got. Caution. Content's hot. You get single leg bridges coming up. Me all you got. Give me all that you got. Come on. Ooh. On your back. Let's do that front leg first. Back leg is up. Weight is on the hips. Back leg is up. Press through that front heel. Make any adjustments that you need to. Close your eyes. Push through the whole foot. Drive through, come on, push that hip up. You can do this, we're so close. Oh, switch it. Take a deep breath. Woo. All right, that back leg is working, the front leg is lifted. Our right, ears just up. I'm gonna drive my front elbow into the mat. Ready? You push. Close your eyes. And you can push the other leg away. It's lifted. After this, we come up. We do those back lunges. No band. Great job, band off. And then come on up. 
legs. Woo. Yeah. Rock yourself up. Heavy weights. The space carol. Lunge back. Weight down or up. Ready. Start your lunges. And again, you could have them by your side or have them up. Ooh, now I'm feeling that booty a little bit here. Keep your eyes lifted, your torso straight and strong. Lateral lunge is coming up next. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is flying by though, isn't it? Okay, we got that lateral lunge. Let's go to the Diane first. Up. Oh, we started early. That's all right. Dropping chest down. By pushing through that outside foot. Activate the butt. You get low back. A little hinge. Rise up. Leg drop is next. I'm gonna go for my 20. What do I got? I got my 20. One more. All right, on your back. Leg drop. You guys, just four moves. You can do this. Weight is up and angled back. Legs are up over your hips. Drop. And lift again one or two legs. Keep your arms angled. Work them. Your body's really smart at cheating. It knows how to make it easy. It'll bend your elbows, it'll put the weight over your chest. Try to have them as straight as you can and keep them back there. When you lift the legs up, try to push into your arch in that back. Next move is a sit-up, using the weight. Drop it. And again, you do, you, I keep telling you, just try those heavier weights every now and then. Not every single exercise has to be heavier. Weight is up. Curl up, sit, and release. You go at your pace. Go up as high as you feel that you can with control. The next move is that plank. Where I pull the weight through. Flip it. Come into your plank. Weight is behind the front wrist. Knees or toes. Woo. Get set. Back arm grabs the weight, pulls it through, and switch. And try to be nice and use the core to help you move the weight. If the weight is too heavy, I'm trying to tell you what. You don't feel your core as much. Now that I have the 20, I'm definitely feeling it more, obviously, right? <laughs> so once you move the weight, set yourself before you grab it and then move it again. And try to look out in front. Nice job, weight in the center of your body so you don't hit it with your feet. We have those runner lunges. Last move. Woo. Get yourself in here, plank. Front leg steps forward by the hand and switch. Remember, we want to feel like this is work, not a stretch yet. So if it's too easy, pop them a few times. Then 
need to take a break. You guys, we got about 15 seconds. What can you do? You can even put your hands on the weight if you need to. If the ground is too far away from you. Jump them. Come on, eight, seven, six, let's go. Done. Nice job. Woo. Oh, super job. Yay for you guys. Yay for you. Oh, I don't feel like going very far. <laughs> I think we're gonna stay on the mat here for a moment. Woo. You guys give me some down dogging. How about that? Or do you wanna be off your hands? Let's do down dog. Oh, yeah. Press your heels back. Drop your head between your arms. Woo. <sighs> Up dog. If you need to, on your elbows, sphinx. Oh, what a great strength workout, right? Again, when you're pressed for time, it could just be one round. Push back into child pose. Reach your hands to the back side of your mat a little bit here. So kind of like a reach stretch. Walk it to the other side, a little stretch through the side. Back into just a regular child pose. Reach the hands, drop the head. We're gonna do one of the moves that we've done in the mobility routine. Give me a down dog. Taking the back hand, reaching for the front ankle, or actually the shin, look to your hip. While you're there, press your heels down and then walk back out to plank, drop the hips up dog, and then back to down dog, other hand. I'm gonna first walk my back hand and then walk the front hand to grab that calf. Look to the hip. And then walk out, I'm gonna walk out the front hand, back hand, up dog, pause, let's do one more on each side. So the front hand walks back first a little bit, then the back hand reaches for the calf, look. Walk back out, up dog. Back hand walks first, front hand grabs. Look to your hip. Up dog. Press back, all right, from that position there. If you need to, double up your mat for your knees, ladies and gentlemen. Little camel, right? Fix your pants if you need to, like me. Taking the front arm, reaching it up. This backhand can go into your low back or to your heel. Open your knees up and then reach back. And then we're gonna switch hands. So again, switch hands, reach back. We're gonna hold for about three, two, one, and switch. Switch. So pushing the hips forward, opening through the front of the body. Let's do one more on each side. So lean back first as far as you can and then come up, switching. And release, great job. All right, from that position there, we're gonna be coming up into a straddle. So come on up, open up those feet wide. Hinge forward. And then shift over to Carol. We're gonna do a little lateral lunge. I'm gonna turn my foot out a little bit, that right foot of yours. And then stretching in the inside and your ankle. And the other side. So I'm gonna have you keep your whole foot on the floor there. Sometimes we do heel up, but I'm gonna have your foot down. And then switch it again. And one more time. Wide straddle. Walking those feet, just another little bit of arms here. So behind the chest, interlock the fingers open. And then we're gonna round forward. Interlock the fingers, open the chest, look up, push forward. Let's do one more. Open the chest, reach forward. 
Big inhale, take it out, take it up. Reach it back, pull it into your heart. Another deep inhale here. And let it go. You did amazing. Always celebrate those wins. That was a great workout for you. Your whole body is feeling amazing and strong. Thank you to my team. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Liza. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Cheeky in the back. And hi, Anne in the front. And you at home, you did amazing. If you enjoyed the workout, make sure you thumb it up. Share it with a friend. Hey, work out with a buddy, right? That's the best thing to do because it helps you with motivation and accountability. Because guess what? We'll be back here, and I know you will too. We'll see you the next workout, you guys. Take care.